Breaking News Ohanese Indigo Youth Council Worldwide OIC has described the High Court judgment that went in favor of Inamdekano as reassuring. The High Court sitting in Abia State had awarded 1 billion era against the federal government over the invasion of Inamdekano's country home. Reacting to the judgment, the President General of OYC, Oku Inabuike, said the decision of the court showed that there was still hope in Nigeria. According to him, the court's verdict came at a time when many people were no longer given a chance to the judiciary. This judgment bring a sense of hope to all Nigerians. It brings a sense of hope, you know, to all Nigerians. It is highly reassuring and commendable. It shows that we still have courageous members of the bench in Nigeria who are ready to follow the law and apply it without pondering to the left or the right. Our advice to the government is to seek a political solution as suggested by the judge because that is the only way out and if the government is sincere to restore peace, it should not shy away from it, Oku stated. He however appealed to the members of the IPOP to maintain peace and follow the rule of law in their search for justice. Meanwhile. The OYC has condemned what it called a deliberate attempt to Maglin Southeast governors. Aku said this was evident in photoshopped images currently in circulation on social media displaying the governors on Biafra outfits. According to him, this is blackmail, taken too far, and it must stop. We know those behind this mischief, which is all about the 2023 presidency. We shall soon expose the sponsors and the promoters. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this brain development? We've just had the Ohanese in the Youth Council worldwide. Oh, I see. Describing the High Court judgment that went in favor of Mazinam Dikano as reassuring, it said it shows that though we still have some few people on the bench who are still in support of Mazinam Dikano and are ready to, you know, impose the law rightly. They are, you know, ready to follow the law and apply it even without pondering. To the left or right just go straight to the point and just you know apply the law that's what the law is all about not trying to manipulate some things in favor of one person over the other even when you know this thing is wrong you are still doing it in favor of one person to the other no that's what the ohanese youth council have said saying that we you know regard this judgment that went in favor of inam dekano as reassuring this has given us you know more hope it has given us more courage we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said but before we go let's people's reactions and all their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria guest reacted and said something is fishy why is it that media Singling out the one billion naira award as if it's all the court said. Nigeria media, please, we need you to repent because the court did not only talk about the one billion naira award, the court ordered the government to make a public apologies and that its arrest was illegal. What is your thoughts to this? He said, Everything we've been sharing since has been about the 1 billion Naira award so that people will forget the rest. 
please, we need you to shine your eyes, be our friends, and watch. What is your thoughts to this? That it is not only the one billionaire the court, you know, awarded. He also told them, you know, to apologize in public. You need, you know, said you need to make a public apologies. And that his arrest was illegal. What is your thoughts to this? Another guest here have also reacted and said that court of Umaya judgment was to avoid trouble and to save George's life and his family. How does it, that is the federal government, will pay such money to someone like Mazin Amdikano? It is laughable. What is your thoughts to this? You know, you are agreeing that the same way some people are in support of Mazenam Dikano. That is the same way some people are against him. We have some people who regard Mazenam Dikano as a criminal. We have some people who regard Mazenam Dikano as a murderer. People regard him as, you know, a thief. People regard him as so many things. But we still have some people who are standing firm behind him. According to what this guest have said now, he said, How do you think the federal government will pay such money to a murderer? And criminal like Inam the canon said it is laughable. Now I'm putting it to you that do you agree that Mazinam the Kano is a criminal or is a murderer? Or do you think these things are just you know to you know favor the government so that it won't be as if we are always behind Mazinam the Kano? You know, there are so many things to talk about concerning the issue of Mazinam the Kano and the federal government of Nigeria. Now, do you think Mazenam Dikano is guilty of all this, being a murderer, being a, a, a criminal? What is your thoughts to this? We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this that has been said. We have had different reactions from different people. We would like you also to let us know your thoughts to this. This is fishy. This is, you know, so fishy. Well, Murphy Boone said, you spoke well, sir. Saying that guests here have spoken well, saying that the court did not only spoke about the one billionaire, it also spoke about the public apologies and also that Kano's arrest was illegal. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said. We would like you to share your own reaction with us via the comment section. Don't forget that we are still talking about the arrest and also the continuous detention and the fresh charges laid against Mazi in Amdekano. Now, Ohanizi have allowed the court's judgment and also warned the blackmailers, telling them Mazi in Amdekano's judgment, you know, from the high court in Abia is regarded as reassuring because it is in favor of Inam Dikano, that's what the Ohanese Indigo Youth Council Worldwide OYC have said. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on other news. Bye for now.